It's favorites and fails time. Favorites and fails time. It's time to talk about my favorites and my fails. And there are constant planes going by. Oh my gosh! I just finished filming What's Up in Makeup. It's Friday in my time. And there were literally planes, and I mean literally, in the literal sense of literally, every two minutes, planes going over my house. I had to stop constantly. It was so frustrating, but now I need to bring myself to my happy place. And my happy place is my favorites and fails video. It is my favorite video to film every single month. And I'm so excited to share my favorites and fails with you this month. But before I do, I want to show you something because this is a partnership, but not a sponsorship. This is just a favor I'm doing for a friend of a friend. Uh, and I want to show you, it's a brand called Roll Up and Dye, D-Y-E. It is a tie-dye company that's local to me. And they have an Etsy shop. They also have a website that I will link down below. They're going to give you $30 up to $30, any item you choose off of their Etsy shop. Entering the giveaway is super, super easy. All you need to do is leave a flower emoji in a comment down below. You can leave other words as well, but if you put a flower emoji, I'll know that you wanna be entered in the giveaway for the 30, it's like a $30 gift card. Uh, whatever you want, any item up to $30 for free. So let me show you some examples of things she can do. They're really, really cool. Like for example, they have these really cute shirts. This is the one that she made for my son. Isn't that adorable? And all the dyes are hand mixed. She watches them in small batches. All the prints are handmade. I mean, isn't that absolutely adorable? Like my son, he saw it and he was like, yes. And then these are the pants that she made for my daughter. And they're just super, super cute. She can do all kinds of really neat prints. You can also do like little baby onesies. She puts a little roll up and dye logo on the back and then she makes cutie little onesies. <laughs> they're so cute. Here's another one. They're just so adorable, oh my gosh. And then uh, she also makes these really neat scarves. She was wearing one when she came over. Scarves aren't necessarily my thing, but I know a lot of people really like scarves. So these are just really beautiful. You can look up the specs on each item on the Etsy shop. So, I mean, she's got all kinds of really cool colors here. So definitely check out Roll Up and Die if you like tie-dye stuff, if you're looking for a gift, maybe for Mother's Day, maybe you have a mom in your life that enjoys tie-dye prints, or if you're just looking for something cool and different and unique and handmade by a small business. Again, links down below. So now on to the makeup and beauty stuff. We're gonna start with the worst product I tried this month, going all the way up to the best, starting with number 10. Now this is a product that was sent to me in PR, and I've been using this before I started on the Halo Beauty Vitamins. I've been using this, I don't know, a really, really, really long time. I feel like at least since like Christmas time, I've been using this. This is the Mark Anthony Strengthening Grow Long Rapid Grow Leave In Spray Stuff. Let me show you how the sprayer works. I love the sprayer. That's my favorite thing about this, is this little gun sprayer is super cool. Now, what it's, it says it's a strengthening grow long rapid grow leave in. That's the part that I, why this is number 10. That did not happen. <laughs> there was no rapid growth. There was nothing happening there. But it did do some of the other things. So for example, it adding shine. It definitely adds shine. I really like that about it. I can't really talk about the detangling properties because my hair doesn't really get that tangled since it's so thin. But um, I can't, I, and as far as breakage and split ends, I didn't notice anything in particular, but I really wasn't paying attention to that. The big thing I was paying attention to was the uh, the lengthening, you know, to make my hair grow longer and stronger and everything. That just didn't happen, so that's why it's at number 10. It's, I guess it's not a bad product if you're just looking for shine. It just didn't do what I thought it was advertised to do. Mm. I recently showed this in my iMats haul, and I, even though I haven't had this for that long, I still feel very confident putting this at number nine. This is a Sigma brush tower. And it was funny because I showed this in, uh, in the live chat and people were like, yeah, that thing sucks. <laughs> Like, oh, well, there you go. Why didn't you tell me while I was at IMATS? I had never asked. I am, am terrible at washing brushes and I needed something to motivate me to wash brushes. So I purchased this to try to kind of help me do that. And the first thing, I, not first thing I did when I got home, but pretty soon after I got home, I got into washing my massive brush collection and every single brush 
was dirty. <laughs> so this is my thing. Let me get let me get brush and show you. So let's say I've got a large brush like this. And what these things down here are supposed to do is they're supposed to be for shaping. But the problem is, is that these bands are not very big. So when I'm washing brushes, I don't want to spend forever fiddling with something. I, it's a long, tedious process. So I want things to go quickly and easily. And I, and number one, you have to pick this up in order to put the brushes in the thing. And then you've got to wiggle them all in here. Here, and then you've got to figure out how you're going to smash them in here and you've got to shape this around it's like and then it comes out <laughs> okay so let's try that again and imagine trying to do this when it's full of other brushes you can't they'll all fall out So this is supposed to go, the wet brush is supposed to go inside there, and then you're supposed to snap this in place like that, okay? And that's just too much work for me when I'm washing my brushes. It's too much, it's not functional. So I ended up kind of abandoning these little wrap things here and just kind of started pressing them in. Now I do appreciate that there are many different sizes, both in the eye brushes and the face brushes. I like that. I also like that it was very easy to assemble. What I didn't like is as I was putting brushes into one side, the other side started to fall out. And then I'm, I'm getting frustrated because like I said, I want brush cleaning to be something that I can just run through the brushes. My, my biggest work should be actually cleaning the brushes, not putting them on the stand. I am going to keep it uh, and I am going to still use it, but I don't like it. It will probably be replaced eventually. Next is a product that I had very low expectations for very low expectations. I swatched this thing and I was like, oh no, this thing's gonna be terrible. This is the BoxyCharm and Pure Palette that came in BoxyCharm. And I used this three or four times and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't think it's worth the price point at all. Not even close to worth the price point, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be in that the lasting power lasted me a good solid eight hours with primer. I was expecting six with the way that these things swatched. It was awful. But like you know, like I know, like you know, swatches aren't everything. The, the texture on your fingers isn't everything. And though this is definitely not my favorite palette to use, it doesn't bring me joy. I don't have fun using it. It's not awful. <laughs> it's fine. So I will probably pass this on just because I feel like a palette really needs to make me be happy to use it and this just doesn't, it doesn't bring me joy. So I'm gonna pass this along to a friend that doesn't mind that I've dipped into most of the shadows in here. Number seven are products that I actually really, really like, but there's a big, huge, giant butt in this thing here. These are the Nude Sticks pencils, and I have raved about these so much, so much, and I'm start I, I like to update you on things, and these are going down in my rave. They're very opaque, they're very creamy, they're very hydrating, but after a while, they start to ball up on my lips, especially if I've eaten anything, uh, kind of like a liquid lipstick can sometimes. When I have a creamy lip product, I expect, I, I not expect, but I hope that it will wear down gracefully. These do not do that. Uh, they, well, in a way they do. If you can somehow get them to stop crumbling, then they're, they, they're fine, like they leave a nice color. It's just the, the obnoxious crumble pieces. And the shades are beautiful, but I don't know. I mean, it's just, it, that's why they're kind of in the middle. I don't dislike them, but I don't love them because of that crumble factor. It just, I don't know, I just wish that they didn't crumble. If they didn't crumble, they would be perfect. Next is a product that I really, really, really like a lot, but it's starting to fail on me some. This is the House of Lashes Lash Glue. I got this when I went to the Glam Masters premiere and, well, it was the premiere party in New York City, and I stopped by Ricky's NYC and I asked them if this stuff was legit, and they were like, yeah, definitely, it's amazing. And I, I stood there in the Ricky's, and I've got the lash glue on my, on my lashes, and I'm trying to put them back on because they were kind of flopping a little bit, and I'm not going to the Glam Masters premiere with wonky lashes bad, terrible idea. So I put this on, my lashes stayed on all night, even through the train ride home at midnight, I still had my lashes on, they looked great. So I was so excited, I got it home, I tried it and I realized that this is not good, at least for me, from my experience, on lash bands that are very, very thin. You know those plastic wiry ones? 
it does not work on those. But the thick lash bands, like the ones I'm wearing today, the ones that have like a little bit of substance to them, it works fantastic. So I just have to be careful which, which lashes I use this with. So that is why it is in the middle and not at the top because the lashes that it does hold on, it holds on very, very well. Number five is a product that I did do a full review on. This is the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. Again, I got it at that Glam Masters premiere. It's a good mascara. Is it a great mascara? No, but it's good. It makes my lashes a little bit longer. Uh, it does give them a little bit of volume, but it does clump my lashes together a little bit. Uh, it gives it kind of that not spider lash full out, but inching on spider lash. And the way I get rid of that is by doing the little brush wiggle and that helps some, but they still do clump together, unfortunately. Uh, lasting power on this is really good for me. I don't find that it flakes or smudges on me, but I don't typically have smudging problems with any mascara. I wanna make sure I say that. And the flaking thing, uh, it does happen sometimes, but not super often. But yeah, so this is just an okay mascara for the price. I would definitely say it's a no. If this were a drugstore price mascara, then I would say, yeah, great, because it would last through like a most of a school work day without, you know, giving me too much trouble. But because of the price point, I expect it to do better. I expect to see more volume. I expect to see even more length. Uh, but it was fine. It was just kind of fine. It's like, meh, meh, meh. Now we're getting into all the really good things, okay? So please don't take this as... You know, this is just my least favorite of my favorites because the rest are all really good. So this is the Amrezy Highlighter by Anastasia. And I do really, really like this. It gives your cheeks kind of like a wet look instead of like the way my my cheeks look right now. I'm wearing the Pop Lux, the, the black, highlighter uh, and that this one gives you like that bam in your face kind of glow where this is more of like just like a wet sheen and I think that's really nice and it's different than a lot of things I own like I think I was th expecting it to be more like an Ofra highlighter like really popping and crazy but it wasn't like that and I thought it was nice and soft and pretty it's still glowy don't get me wrong but it's different and that's why I really like this lasting power on me was really good not great but really good definitely lasted most most of the day and I could still see it. Still see a, a, a sheen of it, just a tiny bit at the end of the day, but not full on like I just applied it, like my Ofra's. So overall, this is a recommend. I think that it's really good for the right person that's looking for that kind of highlighter. Number three is another product that's really, really good that I love. This is the Flower Setting Powder by Beauty Bakery. And this has been out for a little while. Let me go get the packaging for you because it's so cute. I saved it just to show you and then I'm gonna throw it away. Hold on. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this. Look how this comes. It comes in a little flower bag and it's even got nutrition facts on the side. I am telling you, like Beauty Bakery, I feel like they have some of the best packaging in the entire makeup market. So they've got um, nutrition facts that says um, one sweet sweetie per serving, 100% vegan, 0% calories, 0% gluten, 0% parabens, lightweight yes, mattifying yes, and then it's got the ingredients down here which I thought was really cool. And then it's got baking tips over on the side. I mean seriously, Seriously, it's so cute. But what's more important is how does it perform? It performs very, very well. It's very finely milled and it comes with, let me show you the top of it. Top's very important. It's got the sifter inside and I do find the product does kind of jumble around in there unless I specifically take the time to close it, which usually I forget. <laughs> but I do kind of like that because when I bring my brush over, I don't wanna have to fight with the powder to get it out and I don't have to fight with the powder to get it out. The packaging is good. And this is very solid on there. It's easy enough to turn for me, uh, but if you have any kind of pinching problems where your hands maybe not, might, might not be able to pinch things, you may have trouble spinning this, just so you know, because it is kind of tight. But the performance of it is so good. It gives my face, kind of reminds me of the Too Faced uh, powder. That It gives me like a nice soft finish without it being, um, you know, powdery looking, without it being too matte. And it's definitely not luminous in any way, but it's got like this nice finish and I definitely feel like it makes my my makeup stay on longer. It's really beautiful powder. I like it just as much as my other favorites. I have so many favorites of powder at this point. They all kind of tie and this gets to go in with all of my favorites. So yeah, big huge win on this. I really, really enjoy it a lot. Just like my last product was set in PR, 
My second favorite product is was also set in PR from the exact same brand. These are the Mark Anthony. They're brand new. These are the Volume Cocktail. Well, the, it's the cocktail line. These things are so cool. I showed them in a, uh, in, I think it was a, an Instagram story. I think I showed these. These things are so neat. The first thing that caught me was the marketing of them. Let me show you. I actually have three of them they sent. I think there's four of them in the line. I have not tried the Beach Waves Cocktail, the texture and volume one, but this one, the volume one, because you know, I hate the volume of my natural hair. I am wearing extensions today, but my, uh, my natural hair has zero volume. So the way that this works is you've got two different products in here and you've got two different sides to the cap. So what you can do, the idea is, is you can squeeze them out together or you can do one at a time and you make your own cocktail of hair product. I just think that's so smart. Uh, so the first one here is the root lift souffle. So what I do when I get out of the shower is I just massage that into my roots and then I put the volumizing cream, I put that all over the bottom and work it up into the top. And it works. I'm telling you, it is beautiful the way that it works. Actually, let me take out my extension. You know, I can't stop talking about this Halo hair extension. Let me pull this out. I'm gonna pull it out for the rest of the video because it's a pain, it, you're not a pain in the butt to put back in, but it's, you know, it's not the easiest thing to pull, put back in. If you saw me without volumizing product, you would be able to tell like the limp flatness of my hair. I feel like it does give me significant volume and I do really like it a lot. I also really love the smoothing cocktail. This is the smoothing cream and the glossing lotion. And I find that the smoothing cream is really nice. I actually am wearing it a little bit in my hair today because I was having a lot of flyaways. It holds down my flyaways without giving me a crunchy feel. It's got a little, like when you first put it in at first dries, it can feel a little bit textured, but it's not bad. It doesn't feel like hairspray or anything. And it's just really nice and also the glossing lotion does give the hair a really nice shine. My only complaint about these products is that the more you use them it becomes a lot more difficult to squeeze the product out both at the same time because they're filled at different they have different amounts of space in them, so you can't really do that anymore. So I definitely recommend as you go, just opening up one side, adding the other separately if you want to, instead of trying to do both at the same time, because it is a little bit frustrating, but that's really just kind of a nitpick about the packaging itself. Uh, and it, it, it really doesn't matter. The performance of the product is what matters, and it really does work for me. It works great. And the last product, I was not expecting this. And I think that's the majority of my number ones in these countdowns is something that I'm not expecting. And this is something I wasn't expecting. I got that, I've said this a bunch of times and I know I've said the video's coming. I'm hoping it'll be next week. That's the plan, the giant CoverGirl box. And this was the biggest surprise to me in the box. There's good things in the box. There's kind of bad things in the box and there's some really bad things in the box. We'll get to that in the full review, but this was the best. This is the CoverGirl lid lockup. I'm not even kidding. This is what happened. I put the Urban Decay on one side. I put the CoverGirl on the other side. I wore ColourPop eyeshadows. My eyes looked exactly the same. You couldn't tell which one was Urban Decay. You couldn't tell which one was the CoverGirl. It was insane. I could not believe it. I was shocked. Absolutely shocked. I also used it with their eyeshadows. Same thing, Urban Decay versus this because you know Urban Decay is my Holy Grail eyeshadow primer. Same thing, totally held up with the CoverGirl eyeshadows that they sent. Now without this in the CoverGirl eyeshadows, it's going to fade really, really fast. But with this, I feel like those CoverGirl eyeshadows, it's essential to have a primer, if not this primer with those shadows because they fade super fast. But just it just totally caught me by surprise. I would not be surprised if this is another one of those primers, if they keep it in the market. That Because sometimes brands get rid of things that are amazing. But if they don't, I would imagine this is going to be another Milani eyeshadow primer that everybody talks about. I think this is going to rival that, to be completely honest with you. It is really, really good. If you've tried this, definitely please let me know your experience with it. I do want to make sure you know, I do not have dry lids. I do not have oily lids. I have normal lids with a little bit of texture. So it may not work for oily lids. It may not work for dry lids. For my lids, it was 
fantastic. So that is it for my monthly favorites this month. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did and you were not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to check out Erin's shop over at Roll Up and Die. Again, links down below. And if you'd like to enter the giveaway for the $30 gift card to her Etsy shop, definitely make sure you leave that flower emoji down below. And thank you so much again for watching. Mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon.